Welcome back darlings. This week's video I'm looking at panel impact ratio and whether it's affected by water pressure or drawing from a tank. Okay, so the other week, actually other month now, you might remember it, Specky McSporran put a video, and I'm gonna link this in a minute, comparing the PIR through different uh, foam lances. And he found that the MJJC had a really, really different like flow rate effectively. Um, and it explains why that whips up really thick, frothy uh, snow foam because it gets through it so much quicker. Okay, very good point. And, and thank you, Specky, for doing that bit of research because it's really interesting and you've got access to all those different uh, lances, so that's fantastic. The other assertion that's often made in the industry is that water pressure affects your PIR as well. Well, if that's the case, when I'm running off the tank in the van, I may have to have a different amount of product in the foam bottle to uh, get the right PIR. So I wanted to make sure I'm doing it right, at which point I thought I'd go and document it. So that's what we're gonna look at, enjoy. On the right hand side of the screen here, we can see the mains pressure. On the left hand side, it's from the water tank. And I've got 500 mil of uh, water in the detergent tank on the foam lance. So I'm just discharging that into the bucket. Then I times the value I get in the bucket by two, because that would give me the value for a litre, because I only put 500 mil in. Uh, and therefore um, I can do my PIR calculation because that requires one litre of um, detergent discharged. Uh, ultimately, I got seven litres a piece. It didn't matter which source it was, both seven litres, which means it's 14 litres in total for each one. Well, that seems to go against conventional wisdom, doesn't it? Exactly the same. Like, exactly the same. From the tank, which has no water pressure, it's just gravity fed, and that was barely full. So I think that I might have had 50 litres in it. It's a 250 litre tank. When it's really full, it comes out quicker. Um, versus mains. So, does water pressure affect your flow rate coming out of the pressure washer? Well, it doesn't seem to, and that surprised me. But there you go, that's the evidence, you can see it. See it for yourself. Um, yeah, good to know from my point of view, I can just use the same ratio wherever, but uh, surprising. Hope that was useful, and I will see you in the next one.